I'm Gail Banks. Mother Nature is constantly kicking my ass. Let me tell you how. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can find enough straightaway here at 2500 to punch this thing and not kill everybody. There it is. Got the data. Today I'm sitting in my O2 8.1 liter Suburban and I'm going to use it to show you how density affects horsepower. So what is air density and why does it matter to me and you? Why does it matter to the average guy? Well, engines pump CFM. Air density is the weight of each cubic foot your engine pumps. So you might say, wait a minute, Gail, air has weight? Well, if you ever put your hand out the window at 60 or 70 miles an hour and felt the pressure blowing it back, have you ever seen the devastation of a hurricane? <laughs> air, believe me, air has weight. If I can increase the density of every cubic foot my engine's inhaling, I can make more power. Mother Nature, as you go up in altitude, or on a hotter day, takes horsepower away. We've all felt that. Going over the pass, pulling the trailer. Uh, or a super hot day versus a winter day. Why does your engine make more power in the dead of winter than it does in the heat of summer? The air density is less during the summer and greater during the winter. Here's the regulators of air density. Temperature. As temperature goes up, you have less air density, less horsepower. As temperature goes down, you have more air density and more horsepower. Humidity. As humidity goes up, you have less horsepower. As it goes down, you have more horsepower. Pressure. People talk barometric pressure. We're talking about not a corrected barometric pressure like the weatherman talks about. We're talking about air pressure. As you go to higher altitude, the air pressure goes down, less horsepower. As you come down to sea level, the air pressure goes up, more horsepower. Those are the three variables of air density. Back when they started manufacturing engines, they found that Testing an engine in the winter, testing an engine in the summer, two different horsepower is the same engine. Different manufacturers were at different altitudes. They needed a standard for comparison. So the Society of Automotive Engineers got together and they created what, what is known as a standard day. The standard day that we use commonly at banks is pretty universal across the country. It's SAE standard J. 1349. On that standard day, the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit, the humidity is 0%, and the pressure, the atmospheric pressure is 14.36 pounds per square inch absolute. So that's our standard and all you have to do is correct to it. So let me tell you about today's experiment. We're going to make full throttle blasts at various altitudes. We're going to Mount Wilson. That's where all the TV transmitters are above LA. It's got the altitude of Denver. We're gonna take a blast here. We're at about 500 feet of elevation. Then we're gonna go every thousand feet all the way to 5,500 feet or so on the top of Mount Wilson. And I'm gonna show you that my 8.1 liter Suburban is going to turn into a pig. What we're showing here is the horsepower maximum. As we go up the hill, tears will start running down my face as that number tanks. Finally, how does the i data monster measure the air density? Well, it's this guy, the bank's air mouse, and I've mounted one in the nose of the truck. So how would you measure air density? Don't worry, I've invented a gauge for that. Start data log, got the green indicator light, wide open throttle. Perfect. We'll go into the Best Buy parking lot 
and I'll tell you about what's going on on both of these uh, data monsters. All right, here we are in the Best Buy parking lot. I'm hogging a couple of spots here, park side saddle. Let me tell you what's going on on the top gauge. Horsepower maximum is the top reading. That's the maximum horsepower this engine can produce at the current air density, which is 100.7%. It's a 340 horse engine, but right now it could make 343. As we go up the mountain, I think that's going to go the other way. Our throttle inlet air density is 87.4%. That's the density through the air filter, through all that black plastic ducting, which is absorbing heat under the hood as we sit here, really diminishing the air density to the throttle. The bottom is the manifold air density, what we call MAD. This is the payday air density. This is what matters to the engine's horsepower. We're idling, so it's quite low at about 45%. Go up to wide open throttle. We'll see what it is as we data log each thousand foot increase in elevation. Let me explain the lower gauge to you. On the left, I've got ambient air temperature, 73 degrees Fahrenheit out here. I've got throttle inlet temperature, currently 140 because of all that heating in the inlet system. I've got manifold air temperature at 146 Fahrenheit, so it's quite elevated. But we're sitting here idling, we're hot soaked. Once we get back on the freeway and I start breezing this thing, that stuff's all going to cool down to normal operating temperature. Ambient air pressure is 14 and a half pounds per square inch. That's an absolute pressure. That's the pressure above a perfect vacuum. That's what the engine cares about. The throttle inlet pressure is 14.1 pounds right now due to loss through the intake system. The manifold air pressure is 7.4. That's because we're throttled back and we're idling. And down at the bottom here, on the left, I've got the relative humidity, 39.9. Remember I told you, as the humidity goes up, the density go, goes down. So humidity is horsepower's enemy. Down on the lower right, I have horsepower potential. And it's reading about 439 horsepower. Compare that to the 343 maximum. Why is that number that high? That's the horsepower number this engine could make if you got the ambient density outside the truck all the way into the intake manifold. Now you can see the loss from ambient to the intake manifold through this air intake system. In fact, it counts the loss from the intake manifold into the cylinders as well. That's overall engine efficiency, or what's called volumetric efficiency. It's pretty low. If the volumetric efficiency were 100%, this thing would make 439 horsepower. But it isn't. And just looking at these two numbers, I'd say the volumetric efficiency of this thing is around 78%. I'm just off the top of my head. So let's get back on the freeway and complete the first leg of our trip to 1,500 feet. Data logger's on, and we're going to punch it. Hope I don't get a ticket doing this. All right. Did log her off, 1,500 feet done. It's getting mountainous now. Twisty, turny stuff. You see that, uh, did you see that uh, pull out? Yeah. I took a lot of dates to that pull out back in the day. This one too. <laughs> Coming up on 2500, twisty, turny stuff. Turn it on the logger. Remind me to turn it off. Here comes some motorcycle guys. Find me a little shot here and we will punch this baby. Ha! Uh, I don't know if we can find enough straightaway here at 2500 to punch this thing and not kill everybody. 
There it is. Got the data. Okay, at 2,500 feet, our ambient density was 96.7, and our max horsepower is down to 320. Hmm. All right. I am going to start the logging for 3,500 feet. Logger's on. 3,500. Wide open throttle. Manifold air density is about 87%. 310 on the maximum horsepower and 93.8 on ambient air density. So we're down 37 horsepower. Okay, we're coming up on 4,500. Day logger is on. Each one, time I turn it on and off, it flags or labels each file. Max horsepower is down to 299. Our ambient air density is 91.3. And now we're going to punch it. And that's going to have to do because it's way too curvy. All right, uh, next stop is Mount Wilson. We're about the same height as Denver, around 5,600 feet right now. Every television station on the planet is probably represented up here with their towers. And here's the entrance to uh, the Mount Wilson Observatory Park. You gotta go get a pass at the Cosmic Cafe. How about that? Here, let me pose by the sign. <laughs> Parked vehicles must display pass. Looks like we just take a hot lap through the place. Let's see how that pig over there performs a mile high. We're looking down on the clouds. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So where are we at here? I think I'll, not much of a straightaway. I'm going to come to a st stop for this pass. All right, we're showing a max horsepower of 285. I just started the data logger. 88.4 is your ambient air density. 88.4 percent and here we go. Going for 4,000 RPM. If I've got enough room. And I'm out of room but I think I hit about 4,200. All right. Turn off the data logger. And there we got our 5,500 altitude. Okay, we're at the top of Mount Wilson. And we just lost 60 horsepower. Why? Because density is down. If this is what it's like to live in Denver, I think I'd start drinking because as a car guy, this is really sad. <laughs> I think I like the horsepower down there a lot better than up here. Man, I love this stuff. If you do too, I suggest that you subscribe.